feeding YouTube. Um, at the time of this recording, I am still working my way through Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I am now into the bestiary. Um, I want to see how they handle some of the classic uh, monsters that have uh, been kicking around for four decades. Um, but one of the things I noticed when I was reading the Player's Handbook was the proliferation of dragon biological assets. Let's put it that way. So essentially, the bits of dragon bodies. And that's always been a thing in fantasy. Always. You know, parts of magical beasts have always been important to fantasy settings. And in the real world, there are still people who want to hunt down and grind up rhino horns, which is horrible because it does terrible things. Um, and recently I, I saw a news piece where some researchers had developed a way to 3D print artificial rhino horns with DNA content so that there is no easy test to tell the difference between what they're producing and the real stuff. And then they were going to flood the market at a bargain price, thus driving the actual poachers out of business because they can't compete. That would be beautiful. Um, but one of the things that I think that people seem to forget is that dragons as presented in most fantasy settings that we now use in tabletop role-playing games or video games, things like that, dragons aren't just beasts. They aren't just animals. They are sapient beings. I mean, in the Shadowrun setting, one ran for president. All right, so they're fully sapient beings, not just sentient. My cats are sentient. My cats are aware they will react to the world around them. They're not sapient. They are not self-aware. Dragons are self-aware, many of them much more intelligent than your average person. I mean, like, a lot more intelligent. Like, more than twice the intelligence of your average person when they get older. Um, so, doesn't anyone find it uncomfortable that it seems to be common practice to harvest their skin? Now, think about it for a second. If you were an adventurer and you encountered someone that is wearing uh, armor made from the flesh of a dwarf, you might consider them to be a monster, <laughs> a, a psychotic, somebody that you really need to put down right now. I mean, that's, that's some Silence of the Lam Lambs stuff right there. You know, you know Buffalo Bill? That's some Buffalo Bill stuff right there. The the harvesting of sapient skin to wear. And yet it's dirt common to find people wearing dragon hide armor. Now there are parts of dragons which I think would be far more acceptable to use. For like scales, horns, and teeth. Those all come to mind. Okay, even bones would be acceptable because you could, in theory, harvest those things from the dead or from the living. Like scales, for example. Scales are, are could be harvested just because you find them. You know, things that have scales lose scales. So that would be like a shield or, or, or um, you know, Paul, is it Paul Turns on the shoulders? I can't remember. But, you know, bits of armor made from dragon scale, absolutely acceptable. Horns, and teeth, I think, are also acceptable. Um, and you can buy human bones right now in the real world. I mean, there's nothing stopping a person from owning a human skull. It's legal. Uh, though a human skull with the full with the with the with the attached jaw with a full set of teeth are not cheap. Um, you don't have to want to know why I know, why I know that, but um, but. If you're harvesting something skin, there's there's something really creepy about that, disturbing about that. So I would not allow 
dragon hide armor to be worn by those who consider the crest to, to be good. Even if they, even if the hide would be taken from an evil dragon, because that evil dragon is still a sapient being. And you shouldn't be harvesting the skin of sapient beings, even if it's a bad sapient being. I mean, wearing the skin of your neighbor would be horrible. But I think it would be just as bad to wear the skin of Stalin. It's still creepy. It's still a sapient being, and you shouldn't be harvesting their flesh for armor. So there are lines in my head that I'm not willing to cross, and like scales and teeth and, and horns, I think that's all pretty much acceptable. And you can even get into bones, but of course you might be well be considered to be desecrating the dead. And so that there would be dragons that would, would, would frown upon the fact that why do you have bones of my ancestors or bones of at least of my, of my species, if not, you know, directly from them. Because let's face it, a dragon bone is going to look the same whether the dragon is, was a gold dragon or a black dragon in life. It's just a bone. So dragons may take that very personally. So you may we want to be careful about that. Um, so yeah, it just I found it weird how very offhanded, and I didn't see anything commenting about in the book coming at the fact that you're harvesting the skin of a of, of a sapient being. And that's that bugged me that they weren't willing to address that because the book, by and large, really seems to handle the concept of dealing with sensitive topics and accepting that there are things that are like out of limits and we and the group should decide what is and what isn't acceptable so yeah absolutely really well written in that regard but this particular worm seems like to be just a blind spot that a lot of people in fantasy have it's like they just don't think about wearing the skin of a creature i mean if you even if you encounter somebody wearing like skin made from a giant you're gonna think they're a freak that's not normal it just isn't. That's a bad dude thing. Not a good person thing. Okay, so let's talk about harvesting body parts from sapient beings. There's lots of sapient monsters that could have body parts that are important. But are you willing to make those ethical choices? Can you find that acceptable in your character's worldview to be walking around with an elf hand around your neck, which is a real thing in D&D and Pathfinder, um, or do you think that's something that you just can't do? 